Welcome to the tea. With Gigi. And Brother Andrew. And Elijah. And Elijah. And Elijah. <laughs> For our um, Jewish compatriots that may be watching. Um, no, we have an empty seat for our special guest who will appear shortly. He He's very busy and important. He is a very busy and important person here around Ascension. Right. Um, and we are having fun and just chilling. I actually have real tea, by the way, today. Well, I have lemonade because it's what I found in the fridge here in the office. Yes. which I'm, I'm playing youth minister and receptionist today because... Um, we are lacking an office volunteer this afternoon, which is cool um, because that means I don't have to sit in my office. I happen to be using my laptop um, at the reception desk today, so it's fine. Yes. It's awesome. So I like it. I think there are <laughs> though fun fun it, since we're free. We kind of we're free for me. Ah, there there's ah, our special guest he, he prowling by. around. And so and here he comes. We will talk about that later. Our special guest today is. Hey everybody! Byron, Byron Cross. You look comfy. So what's up? Don't well, let me sit here I go to sleep. Well, okay. We don't have tea. You're the one that has tea to spill. You have the tea you to have spill. Big news, don't you me. have big news. Big, big, big news. Yes. Big news. Big news. For some type of. Now, you so you are having them. a child. What? Should I tell them? You're pregnant. <laughs> no. no. Well, yeah, Byron, you should tell them. So, no, 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 no. So for those of you who don't know, Byron is our um, our building facilities manager and um, security specialist and all around awesome guy. When things break or we break something, we break this something? man is the one that puts it back together right. perfectly. So you right. have some big news about your position. Well, the big news is uh, August 15th is my 35th anniversary for being here. 35 long and hard years. That's, <laughs> that's a long that's time. That's the exact number of years. I'm going to close the door just a second. That's the exact number of years I've been alive. Yeah, really. Yeah, so let's just... It's also, the team. big, big, big news is, it's also my last day of working here. Right. And I have decided to retire. And after three back surgeries and a shoulder surgery, <laughs> the queen. You've had enough. Enough had surgeries. Enough. Yeah. Ascension has turned him into the bionic man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. So that's yeah. that's our big news is Byron Probst is retiring after 35, 35 years of service years. to our That's our as big as you church. get. <laughs> You're the <laughs> longest serving employee of the church. Yeah, in the history. So yeah, in the church. history of Ascension. So following Byron, who's the next longest serving employee? It would either be Jim Garvey or, or Sabra. It's Sabra. Mm -hmm. It's Sabra. I don't know which okay. one was hired first. Sabra. I think Sabra. Oh, okay. So that would make Sabra Martin yeah. our next our next um She's been longest. here like thirty two years or 30, 31, yeah. 32 years. Yeah, that's just a good start. I had to hire her when I came to work here. Notice <laughs> this fine patina that we have worn upon this man's head. Right. Maybe it'll start to grow back when you're the I hope it does grow back when I retire. Now, you, so. before Ascension, you worked at Lakeshore. Right. So, so for those who don't know, I like sort of educating the community in their own history. You were working just right over there at Lakeshore, and it was Emily Vreeland that had a little something to do with you yeah, uh, I worked over there for five years, and if you all remember Tom Brown, who was the chaplain here, and Emily Freeland, who's still a parishioner, uh, they, I worked around them all the time, and they were interested in me coming to work over here, and they set everything up for me, and I did, I came to work here, and it's been really good, uh, I can't complain. Except for the pains. <laughs> yeah, here, let me. <laughs> some, some of you all have become family to me. And uh, I've grown up here. And I've got old here. <laughs> so uh, that's it. Mm. So, what are your big plans for retirement? You're going to. Fish. Lots of fishing. Okay. Crop fishing. And finish raising my grandkids. 
I've got 11 grandkids. That's a good start. And I uh, hope to work more in my church, do mission work. And uh, I'm just going to relax and have fun for a while. Mm -hmm. And you just put a pool at your house, right? I just put in a swimming pool. And so hopefully, and the swimming pool has been in since March, and I've probably not been in it three times. So you'll spend a lot more time Hopefully in the I'll get to be able to get in the pool. Awesome. All right. Well, we won't hold you up from your duties much longer, but we thank you for your 35 wonderful years. There will be a celebration um, celebrating Byron, and we'll go over that. That's on Sunday, yes. August 25th, after the 10 o'clock service in the parish hall. We will be celebrating this man right here. RT. Party. Party. He came up with that one. Thank you. <laughs> we can't we can't I expect some hugs. Lots of hugs, but not too Lots tight. Of hugs. All right. All Thank right. you folks. All right. Yes. Thank you, Byron. So I'm going to just adjust our lovely camera to Right. My smiling face. To, to Gigi's wonderful smiling face. Um so yes. Oh, yeah. Oh goodness. So that is big news. It is very big news. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I've worked with Byron, of course, all five years that I've been here. Right. For me, yeah. all almost two years. Two years. Which is not a whole lot of years. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, oh man, I'm in I, if it, 35 years is the expectation. I'm, like I'm in here. Forever the noob. But that's yes. Okay. Um, so another, okay, so just in, in our, we're, we're relaxed. I like it in here. Um, we have a nice background and everything. I know. It's, it's Hope you guys can hear us and stuff. Well, we're using a new machine. I got a new computer, so and I didn't test the video and sound before we got started. Yeah, so cares. if you can't hear us, then great. Oh, well, <laughs> just re read our lips. Uh, <laughs> so in this room on Wednesday nights, we've been having a great gathering about the healing stories of Jesus, and mm -hmm. there's a lot of different perspectives, and there's only one more meeting of it. But just one meeting of this class can make a really big difference. Um, so next Wednesday, uh, 6.30 here in the library, you'll see me, a special guest, Joan Kuyper, and a couple Ooh, other yeah. parishioners. Um, it's deeply spiritual. Um, it's very meaningful. So that's going to keep going. Um, so why don't we talk about Rally Day? Yeah, we've got some things, plans working for Rally Day. Um, the, the information will be in your parish paper. Um, and which, that's, we which we made yesterday. yesterday. It's a special parish paper. You'll have to let us know what you think of this. Um, some people were lucky and got a fancier version because the copier imploded. Um, right, which made for a lot of extra stress for Andrew this yeah, week. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, it was worth seeing the parish paper in a really nice form. Yeah. Um, just let us know what you think. But you'll find Rally Day stuff there. Yeah. Um, but the big point is starting August 11th, um, actually, now you can go on the website and mm -hmm. order lunch tickets. Um, and yes, T-shirts. We will have Rally Day T-shirts this year. We are bringing it back. Um, and so we will have a choice of, we have the same design on all of them, but you will have a choice of adult sizes or youth sizes. Um, and we'll also have um, four color choices. Now, the um, walnut color does not have a kid's color. Right, that is the only, so there's gonna be a walnut color, which is kind of like a muted sage green kind of color. Um, and so that will be, um, does not have kids sizes. But, but the other colors are The kids other colors. three colors do have kid sizes, and those colors are neon coral, which is very bright, and of Wait, course my favorite. Yeah, it's her As favorite. you can tell, I like bright colors. Then um, peacock, which is sort of a greenish -y. Like a greenish teal kind of color. Yeah. A little bit blue, a little bit green. And then my favorite color. Is the coal. Coal. Which is like kind of a, a dark gray kind of color. Yes. So um, so there will be four colors of, of choice, four color choices of t-shirts for adults, three, three for children, three. and um, and we'll have, you know, all youth sizes and kind of everything in between. Um, and we've ordered some samples so that hopefully pretty soon we'll have samples um, by um, not this after. Sunday, but Sunday after next so that you can try some sizes on and kind of see what they look like and all that good stuff. So Now, because we are getting closer and closer to about that month point of the time change of services, 
I am already running in the bulletins when the service time changes and the parish yes. paper is in there. Sunday, September 15th is when the service time changes back to 8 and 1030, Sunday school at 915. I'm just putting that in here quick. We don't have to talk about it anymore. Just put it down. But this week is still at 8 and 10 o'clock. 8 and 10. No, and centering prayer is at 9 o'clock in this room. And also this week on Sunday, on Sunday morning at 9 o'clock from <gasps> 9 to 9.45, we're having our youth and children's uh, pancake breakfast. And then following that will be the blessing of the backpacks at um, 10 the service. 10 o'clock service. And your kids, if you've got kids out there, or for our Facebook um, viewing audience, um, if you... If your kids come to the service, bring their backpack. We have, or if they don't, if by accident don't bring their backpack, you can you get this little tag, That's right. um, and you can uh, take that tag. It's blessed. We put it on your backpack, and you can go the whole year knowing that your backpack has been blessed by the whole congregation. So it's right. it's pretty fun. It's a cool way to wear your your heart on your sleeve. Yeah, yeah. To wear your church on your sleeve. on your back or your faith on your sleeve on your back. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. On your back. Yes. Um, <laughs> and also to remember is that the next Ascension work day will be Saturday, September 21st. Yes. Um, and there'll be a sign-up table closer to September, you know, as, as things kind of start to shake out. Um, there's a variety of indoor and outdoor activities. There will be a sign-up for it. And the big point is that you, if, if you don't want to be in the heat... There will be things in air conditioning, so it'll yeah. be chill. Um, young families that are here at Ascension probably remember a time when we used to do social gatherings for young families, and That's Father fun. Christopher has sort of reinstated that. He's brought it back to Bring life. It back. He's bringing the retro back now. So this is on Sunday, August 11th. Mm -hmm. So not this coming Sunday, but next Sunday. From 4 to 6 at his home. Mm -hmm. um, information funny. in your bulletin, your weekly email. Um, you can drop into his house, have some food. He'll be cooking out, have mm -hmm. some drinks. And, and just socialize. Yeah. It's great stuff. Just a chance to hang out and fellowship. Yeah. Which is great. Not bad. But another opportunity for fellowship would be... The sisterhood. Yes. Now, there's no guarantee that like 30 plus people are gonna show up to the next sisterhood, but you could but make you it know. happen. Right, if 30 plus of you decide you want to join, that would be great. Um, the sisterhood is gonna be meeting at Finn's Tavern um, on Monday, August 19th at 6 p.m. Um, and that's on the corner of Peters Road and Kingston Pike. Um, now, what I was gonna say is make sure you have your RSVP in on Friday, August 16th. To yes. Charlotte Wood, um, information is in there. Now, the cool thing is, uh, Ascension parishioner and Chef Gary Harper is like the chef, the there. chef there. And yeah. it's, from what I understand, the place is booming and it's great. I mean, it's going to be fun. So if you are a woman of the parish, mm -hmm. scope it out for us. Yeah, let us know. Let us know how it is. We'll let you go and then we'll go. Most death. Okay, speaking of delicious food and delicious food for a good cause. Um, the Pasta and Bluegrass Festival um, is a um, benefit fundraiser event for Family Promise, and that will be on Saturday, August 24th from 6 to 8 p.m. at Sacred Heart Cathedral Gym, um, which is directly across the street from the Church of the Ascension. Who knew? Wow. It's actually the, um, you can, you can park on either side of it, the cathedral, but you just go around the back side of the property. Um, adults are ten dollars, kids yes. are five, mm -hmm. and the kids have like a carnival, Italian carnival sort of thing. They fun they get to do. What's different about an Italian carnival than like any other carnival? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just asking. Maybe Mario shows up. Um, <laughs> I don't know, but he's whatever. So. Um, also, there's an Italian marketplace. So, like, you know how when you go to Greek Fest, which we've been trying to like remember, when Greek, it's like September. It's in September sometimes. So, if you know when Greek Festival is, comment and let us know. Oh, yes, please, please advertise know. for the Greek Fest. It's like our favorite thing. But they have like a little marketplace there. This will have a little Italian marketplace to go with it. So, like, good herbs and spices and pasta. pasta you know, 
Fancy pasta for when you cannoli. Oh yes. Okay. Um, All right. That sounds beautiful. olive oil. I'm sold. I'm sold. So the ticket includes 15 tastings of competition level pastas, where there will be gluten free, vegetarian, and vegan options. So yes, that's kind of cool. Um, let's see what else. Um, so this Sunday is also the last day to bring your um, clothes toe shoes to choose some shoes. Yes, and actually a, I just got a new figure for this. Um, they now have just over 140 pairs. That's less than 20 pairs away from getting the we, 160. We got pairs. this. Y'all, we got this. We can do this. So this Sunday, just drop by. If they just have to be clothes toe, you just bring in a pair of shoes and we can blast past that 160 mark. No problem. No problem. No problem. Uh, we got this. Because these kids, they'll come to school in flip flops and open toe stuff for winter. That's just miserable. Yeah. And it's just. It's hard to play at recess if you don't have good closed toe shoes on. Yeah. Or to focus play. in school when your toes are freezing in yeah. a classroom. Um, so yeah, it's, it's no fun. Um, um, and also coming up is our Safeguarded Guides Children's class. It's going to be Sunday, August 11th um, at 1130 a.m. in room 209. Um, and if that's something you want to participate in, um, you can pre-register by emailing Megan Alden at Megan at KnoxvilleAscension.org. The, the point of it being, of course, that we want all of our children to be safe here at Ascension. Right. And that doesn't involve just like, you know, bumpers on the corners of the cabinets, that's some training for mm -hmm. being cognizant of what's going on around the kids. And if you are working with children or youth, or mm -hmm. you plan to work on children, like if you think in the coming year that you're going to be working with them, go ahead and take this course, because once right. you take it, it stands for three, for three years. years. Yeah, which is good. Go ahead and do it, and that way, you just get it out of the way. And then after three years, once you've had the safeguarding class, you don't necessarily have to go back to the actual in-person class. It's an easy it online. Yeah, there's an online yeah. update that makes makes it so easy to do. So easy. Super easy. Okay. Um, so, so you have some, you have. I have two quick little things about um, a youth group. Um, but I will tell you that we had our last Milkshake Monday. We and did. you came. I did come to Milkshake Monday. I usually like to come to Milkshake Monday at least once. Right. So you saved the you saved it for the last. I one. saved it for the last one. I got my usual the Heath bar and chocolate milkshake. That's a good choice. A grilled chicken sandwich. The cheese bites, which were fabulous. I told you they were fabulous. And the onion rings, they were they were safe. they're okay. They're okay, yeah. but I, I would have been like double cheese bites. Um, yeah, had I know. But yeah. it was well, it was fun. We had um, we had Claire McCarthy, Claire McCarthy joined us. That's yes, right. sorry, I'm terrible at things. So Claire joined us. It was great to hear about her, but I think she had just like come from the pool and she was having fun or something. Yeah. Yeah. So youth summer, you know. Yeah. It's yeah. a great opportunity just to sit for them to sit and talk with someone that isn't their parents who might be thinking that they're whining to say, you know, oh, the school messed up my schedule. Yeah, or, she was talking about her school schedule. Or, you know, oh, I don't want to take this class. Or why am I signed up for that? You know, just a forum for them to just let the, you know, if you took the little weight off the pressure cooker, psh, yeah, you know, it's kind of that. It's taking the pressure cooker pressure down a bit, yeah. you know, for teenagers, because you know how they can be. It's yeah. like, it was, it was definitely like, a, a good experience. I, I love milkshake Mondays and, um, you know, but for those of you who are watermelon milkshake lovers like me, um, we have them for the month of August and then that's it. We're done. Yeah. It's, then it's no over. More. Yeah. So. But as far as youth news goes, I am currently recruiting for Prayer Partners. Um, prayer Partners is a ministry that will pair an Ascension teen with an adult parishioner who um, will be praying for our youth and, um, you know, sending them cards and letters and things like that, um, you know, semi-regularly. And um, our hope is that the, between that teen and their prayer partner, they'll have a, um, you know, build sort of a, a nice rapport and a good little, um, you know, a friendship even. Yeah. Um, and um, we will have a few socials that'll be scheduled for our prayer partners and teens to attend together. Um, and um, so it's a great way to just kind of connect with a young person. If you've, you know, got a, a 
grandchild that's far away and you want to maybe, you know, connect with the teen so that you know it's cool so that when you see your grandkid, it's, oh, I know it's cool. Yeah. Because yeah. um, I certainly, the only reason I know anything that's cool is because I'm in this job. Um, <laughs> you stay on top of the cool factor. I do. I do. I know much more about Billie Eilish than I ever wanted to know, which is a female and not a male, which is, I know that because I know that now. Um, and um, You also have so, dinner angels. And we also have dinner Another angels. Another way to help the youth. Yes, that is a great way to, if you have a flair for cooking in the kitchen, if you want to, if you were scrolling through Facebook and you saw a new recipe and you're like, well, that sounds good, but let me test it on somebody that's not my family first, um, then, you know. Bring, bring Are you proposing happy. that people test their, like, experiments on the youths? As long as it doesn't require, like, you know. A like hospital trip? Aspic. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I aspic. found this great <laughs> Beef aspic recipe, and I would just love, love to try it out with you. Right. So I'm going to try to lean in and see. We've got a comment. We've got a comment. Yes, Don Donna Riggs. Live from the library. Yes. It's, <laughs> it's a little further away from us than normal. Right. So yeah, I, Donna, I'm used to. I, I'm enjoy. I used to usually enjoy the, you know, the whole. The like the talking head syndrome. Talking head syndrome. I and now this everything. is like it's Saturday thing. Saturday Night Live. But this is Thursday well, after the real tea. <laughs> the real tea. We're like official. Like yeah. So like tuna macaroni cheese dish, like totally. We'll try it. Sure. Why not? They'll try it. Okay. All right. Oh, We're there is like one it. other announcement I I remember as I was walking in. Um, Betty Corey just sent that in, which is, uh, if you are part of foyer groups, which I think you're a part of. I am a part of a foyer group. I love foyer groups. So what what happens each year is there's a little bit of a shuffle because you. I don't want to keep having dinner with the same people for a whole nother year, right? You want to meet new people. Right. Although you probably would enjoy having dinner with them again and again. But yeah, sure. And you're certainly welcome to call to up that. like Corinne Bell and oh, yeah. go have dinner. Corinne is my girl. But the purpose, of course, is to meet new people. And so with, uh, there will be some information in, this, in the bulletin starting this Sunday on how the reshuffle process goes and how to get into the program because now's the time. If you want to get in on foyer groups, this is the one time of year you can do it. The rest of the year, it's closed off, everything's organized, and it's put on autopilot. Right. So if you want in on foyer groups, now's the time to talk to Madam Corey, as I like to say. Speaking of which, if you're in my foyer group, we need to plan our last meeting. <gasps> oh, how sad. <laughs> Looking at you, Mardell. <laughs> how, how just, oh. We have one more group. We have one more meeting, and... Um, and we we need to plan it and figure out get a date on the calendar, but we haven't yeah. done that yet. But that's okay. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. I don't think I have any other things for the tea. No more tea to spill. So what we'd like to always tell our uh, viewers is please share this video, get yeah. this video out there because it you know we share it, but then if you share it, it reaches a wider audience, mm -hmm. so people will know about the fun things going on at Ascension. Yeah. Um, and so like it, share it. And then, of course, services, again, are 8 and 10 this Sunday. Right. And if we share it, I mean, like you said, our circle knows it, but you guys know more people in the area than we know. Like all my friends from North Carolina don't really want to know what's going on here in Knoxville. So, yeah. Well, thank you all, and okay. we will see you next week. Or Bye. Bye.